Welcome back, Air Gunners. And today in front of me, I have the Dreamline Light Compact Air Rifle in 22 caliber, courtesy of FX USA. So thank you, FX USA, for bringing this to us and allowing us to show this process. And like many of you, you're probably wondering, well, you know, if I buy one version of this rifle, how difficult is it to go ahead and switch it up to another version? And FX has also sent me the, F, the tactical add-on kit, so we can go ahead and make this the tactical compact Dreamline that I saw back in 2019 and just absolutely fell in love with. Uh, if you're wondering about performance and so forth, we're gonna be doing that in a upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But for today, we're just gonna go through the transformation of the light version into the tactical version with the folding stock. Couple of things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need two Allen wrenches, a 45 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And really that's the only tools that you're gonna need. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take off this back stock and that's removed by just one screw on the back here. And that's hand tightened, so it's really easy to an aluminum plate in there that everything gets attached to, so it's nice and sturdy. It does have a little bit of a flex on it if you really put a lot of pressure on it, but not something that you're going to really notice. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and take your four millimeter Allen wrench, and you'll see this little screw here. And what that does, that really helps to provi provide some extra support for the stock so it doesn't wobble side to side. Yeah, but we're going to go ahead and pull that out. And while you guys are doing this, if, you're, if this is the first time you're going through this process, you're definitely going to want it someplace that you can set all the extra bits and pieces. So if you want to convert it back at some time in the future, you can do so. That one little screw comes out and you're going to notice inside there is a small barrel like piece and that falls right out. And that is in there. So the silver, the silver screw here that was really holding it from side to side. As it goes in as well as the screw from the buttstock goes on in there. So that is the attachment point for those two items. All right, guys, real quick pro tip here. This just came out of your air gun as well as this silver screw and the back stock. Before you go any further, what you're going to want to do is find a nice way to save these items so you do not misplace them. All right. So how I do that is I go ahead and take this. The screw goes right in here. Go ahead and screw that in there. It doesn't have to be too tight, finger tight works. And then since they all go together, go ahead and place that in there and then screw in the stock piece. And you're gonna see, you don't wanna put, don't put a lot of pressure on there because it can uh, mess up the threads. You can notice right here, there's a little bit of a gap between the two, that's fine. All you wanna do is make sure that everything is where you need it, when you need it. Don't tie, tighten that down. Keep everything loose and you should be good to go for next time. Once that is done, you're going to go ahead and want to uh, add this piece right here. This is where our folding stock is going to get attached to. So to do so, there are two screws and you're going to drop those right inside here and then you'll see them fall and then place it right in here. The one nice thing about this is I'm doing this and that first time I did this, I noticed all the machining matches up really nicely. So you know, although you're converting it, it's a conversion kit, you're not even gonna be able to really notice that it's been, been a, uh, a conversion kit that's been added on here. It's gonna look like it came from the factory this way. So that goes on, again, using a four millimeter Allen. And you're gonna notice on the back here, this is where the folding stock portion goes, right inside the back. And FX has done a great job developing this folding stock section. Uh, snaps in there, it's really, really tight. No, not a much play, if any, in there. Uh, they do not include this buttstock portion, though. This is something that they expect that you probably have one already. And if not, you're going to want to pick the one that is most suited for you and your shooting style. So they do not include this. So it is something that you'll have to buy beyond the kit. Or if you happen to shoot AR-15s, you may have one or two of these lying around and you can just take it off your AR-15 and add it to your Dreamline uh, tactical version here. So real easy, goes on, screws right into the receiver there. As soon as we can find the threading. There we go. 
Now you're going to notice when I tighten this all the way up snug, there's a little bit too much, uh, too many threads on there. So what they've done is go ahead and open this up and you're going to notice on the inside, there is a set screw right here. And what you're going to do with that set screw is you're going to tighten it down. That is using the two and a half millimeter Allen. Tighten that down and you get everything straight. And that set screw really locks that folding adapter piece in there so it won't turn anymore. So you got it locked in there. You're going to notice now it won't turn. It's very stable. And then you can go ahead and clo close it and open it however you may want. But once that set screw is in there, it is in there and nothing's going to happen. Just make sure you tighten it down uh, nice and tight. And the final piece to this whole conversion is the Picatinny rail, and that is super easy. There are four screws. You're going to see one, two, three, and four, and those get attached and really help to tighten everything together between the uh, receiver here that we added on and attaching it again to the uh, gun itself. So four millimeters up front, four millimeters here. Tighten it down, and then we're going to hit it up with a two and a half millimeter on these back two screws. And once you've done that, I like to kind of go back and tighten everything down one last time. Make sure everything is set. I don't do that beforehand just in case I need to move it around just a little bit to get all the screws set in place. Set the Allens off to the side, and there you have it, guys. It's just that easy if you want to get the conversion kit. There's lots of places that sell them. My favorite place, of course, being Baker Air Guns. Give them a call if you are wanting to order one of these. Or if you want one, another good place to look would also be Palm Beach Air Gunners down in Florida. I've done a lot of business with both companies, and both are exceptional to work with. So, guys, until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth and those pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor. Man, I can't wait to go shoot this thing.